Jernay Smollett. Jernay Smollett, the br- sister of Jose Smollett. Jose, he saw Jose. Well, let's talk about Spiderhead. Yes. Featuring Chris Hemsworth. Because he a, seems to own Netflix somehow. And a mullet. It's not his production company, though. Oh, it's not. It's not. And a mulleted Miles, Miles Teller. Teller. Yes. I don't understand. Like, he was still in shape from his Top Gun days, but. He looks very. Th- oh, Miles Teller? No, he looks a little tubby in this. And, he and doesn't. It's, it's the hair that makes him look kind of. Like Dump, hillbilly. Dope. Yes, he looks like a hillbilly. He does kind of look strange. like a hillbilly, yeah. The basic premise of this show is that uh, criminals or prisoners have been given access to a very cushy prison. Like, it's like a, a special test, uh, medical testing prison. Yeah, so because they've agreed to do medical testing for certain drugs, they are given privileges where they have, like, it's like co ed. And there's no uh, guards really, and they share kitchens, and everything's very civil, except they have to give consent to do all these drugs like all the time. So they have to go through these drug trials all the time, and in, in they also get a suspended sentence. Yes, that's the premise, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so again, we're using the tomato meter just as a kind of like a litmus test. It's not really the end all be all of how the show is. We're just doing a litmus test of it to see how people react to it and how the critics react to it. Because a lot of times you can glean whether or not the critics are shilling for this. But the critics score has it at 42%. The audience score has it at 32%. It was rated R, but I don't even know why. They cursed I guess a little was bit. Like, they there cursed was a little blood. bit. Yeah, but they like cut away. It wasn't very graphic. There wasn't any boobs. No, there it was. It was pretty like there was sex scenes, but they didn't show anything. So yeah, I mean they they cursed and there was some graphic stuff. That's about it. Yeah, but they cut away from like the what could have been like graphic. I they probably could have got away with PG thirteen. This was supposed to be some sort of suspenseful thriller, but there were like really kind of dumb Easter eggs in it that I thought were kind of like clunky, which is surprising because this is the director from. Uh, is Top Gun. The, that's what I thought it was. The yes, Top, the Gun, Top director. Gun director. Yeah, I Who thought the, it was. Who the hell's the director? Joseph Kaczynski or something. Yeah, Joseph Kaczynski. So, and obviously he filmed this, I guess, before Top Gun. It stars Chris Hemsworth, Miles Teller, Journey Smollett, Bell. I guess she's married. I didn't know that. Journey Smollett. Journey Smollett, the br- sister of Jose Smollett. And Jose. He saw Jose. I it's, wonder why people don't like look down on her like, oh, you're the brother, you're the well, sister of that piece anything. of shit. She didn't do anything. Didn't she though? Do, don't you think she knew that he lied? Don't you think she knew? I don't know. Do you, well, I don't know. She can't be held accountable for anything her brother True. Did. She's also not attractive enough to be an actress. What Dor- Doritos wants to know about hundreds show your opinion. Oh, he wants to know what you think of the hun- of the hundred? The hundred or hundreds? I don't. Know. I don't know which one is. I don't know. Are they? Is shows? it the hundred? That that on the CW? That show is fucking dope. It's over for like several years, and it's all on Netflix. Uh, what's hundreds? Is he talking about billions? I don't know. Different than hundreds, but I think Doc is also talking about sex moaning. Yes, in Spiderhead. Yeah, I thought this was a. It's like a fifty percent. Yeah, like I'd a, say it, it's is like fifty percent. I would say it's like a sixty, like a like a C minus. D plus it's like a C no C would be like 70 uh, uh, so like a D I think it's like a 64 like it's like a, okay it's almost like an F it's not like great it's not bad it's better than the it's better than half of the Netflix movie yeah it's, it's not a bad Netflix movie it just it could have been a better thriller but it's a little clunky I thought I thought Chris Hemsworth was pretty the good as an American. Was decent. Yeah. Miles Teller's fine. He's nothing special. I like Miles Teller though. Yeah, he's fine. He's likable. You know, Journey Smollett's fine. Everybody's fine in it. I think it's a little claustrophobic. Not even claustrophobic. It just doesn't seem like they had a lot of sets. It's like they built one important set and the rest of it was like Yeah. Whatever. They like built the, what they called the spider head. Which they didn't really like. The the movie was called Spiderhead. They referenced Spiderhead once. 
Yeah. Which is like the control room, essentially. Yeah, it's based off of a novel called... Uh, a short story. Oh, yeah. Escape that's right. from Spiderhead or something. Yeah, because they reference... There's, there's a part where the guy is reading one of the books from the author. And I yeah. forget the author's name, but... So, I mean, it, like, it's it's okay. It's kind of <laughs> dumb. Here's a negative review. While Teller and Hemsworth have a lot of screen presence together, there's only so much you could do without a decent plot or script. That's it's It just seems like an incomplete movie. Like, you started it in the middle of a movie and ended it in the middle of the movie. Also, yeah. like, the whole premise reveal at the end where it was, like, a certain drug, you know. Not surprising at all. There was yeah. no real twist to it. It needs a much steadier execution than this because tonally the film is all over the place. I'd agree with that. A promising premise goes nowhere in Spiderhead. It, I, that's what I would say. It, it, it's, it never fully materialized what it should have been. It's all right. For a Netflix movie, it's better than average, but it's still like not a great movie. Uh, and still, like really, the the main thing was like people trying to escape, and there's wrongdoing. Here. You're still Who getting was trying like, to escape. No one was trying to escape. Didn't they escape? Well, spo- the ver- spoiler, spoiler alert. alert: they escaped at the end. I think we don't know. But they were kind of already free. I don't know. It's very unclear. Like what? I don't understand what the point of the movie was. Yeah, I feel like there was like a turn in the middle of the movie where it went from being like a thriller to being like. I don't really know what this is. So it was like kind of totally all over the place. Yeah. Before we go to the next one, I guess Doc is talking about... I guess the show... The show, seven seasons of it? Yeah, seven seasons. The 100. Yeah, I guess The, so. the 100 is a great show. I would recommend it. It's it's probably... Now that the Arrowverse has fucking nosedived into oblivion, it's probably the best show on the CW that, that has been produced. It's still there? No, no, no. It's like, I'm just saying overall. When was it? Is it still going? Uh, No, it ended like three years ago. Okay. So, well, it's kind of an old show. But I'm show. saying for going seven seasons, it's probably the best overall show on the CW. Fair enough. 